In this video, I will show you how you can solve easy inhomogeneous linear systems with the help of the cross product in R3. I will only show you the basic idea of the approach and some examples. If you are interested in the general approach, which works for arbitrary linear systems, visit my Patreon page and support me. You will get my cross product guide as a present. Ok, now I will show you how you can solve easy linear systems by using the cross product. Let's take a look at the following 2 times 2 matrix A. We want to solve the following linear system. Ax is equal to 1, 2. The matrix A needs to have a non-zero determinant. Else the approach I will show you in a minute won't work. The determinant of A is equal to 2 times 3 minus 1 times 3. And this is equal to 3, which is not equal to 0. So this is all right. The non-zero determinant also guarantees that the system is solvable. Now we rewrite this linear system by using an augmented matrix. This here on the left is the matrix A. And this here on the right is the vector B. Now we have to take the cross product of the rows of this matrix. So this here is row 1. And this here is row 2. We have to compute the cross product of the two rows. For the first entry of the cross product, you cross out this here. And then you have to compute the determinant of this 2 times 2 submatrix. So the first entry is equal to 3 times 2 minus 1 times 3, which is equal to 3. For the second entry of the cross product, you cross out this here. And then you have to compute the determinant of this 2 times 2 submatrix. The determinant is equal to 2 times 2 minus 1 times 1 which is equal to 3. The second entry of the cross product is minus this determinant. So the second entry is equal to minus 3. Don't forget the minus sign. So it's minus the determinant. For the last entry of the cross product, you cross out this here. And then you have to compute the determinant of this 2 times 2 Submatrix. So the last entry is equal to 2 times 3 minus 3 times 1, which is equal to 3. Now we have to take a look at this value here. We have to multiply this vector with a number such that this value becomes minus 1. In our case, we have to multiply the vector with minus one third. The result looks like that. Now this value here is equal to minus one. Now the vector which you can see over the dashed line is the solution of the system. So this vector in R2 is the solution x of the system. Ok, let's take a look at another example. I will show you how you can solve easy linear systems one after another by using the cross product. Let's take a look at the following 2 times 2 matrix A. We want to solve the following linear systems all in one go. The 
the matrix A needs to have a non-zero determinant. Else the approach I will show you in a minute won't work. The determinant of A is equal to 2 times 1 minus 1 times 1, which is equal to 1, and this is not equal to 0. So this is all right. The non-zero determinant also guarantees that all of the linear systems are solvable. Now we rewrite these three linear systems by using an augmented matrix. Now we take the rows of this extended matrix and write them down like that. So this here is row 1 and this here is row 2. Now we highlight this 2 times 2 submatrix here and pick the first row right under the submatrix. Now we have to take the cross product of these two vectors in R3, the highlighted ones. The result looks like this. Now we write the entries of this cross product vector in a vector in R5 like that. The entries of the vector in R5 which correspond to row 4 and 5, the ones not highlighted, are just set to 0. It is not necessary to write down this calculation here. You can do the calculation directly inside of the vector in R5. Okay. Now we pick the next row right under the first row, so this row here. We compute the cross product of these two vectors in R3, the highlighted ones. This cross product is equal to this vector here. The result is written in a vector in R5 like that. The entries which correspond to row 3 and 5, the ones not highlighted, are set to 0 again. It is not necessary to write down this calculation here. You can do the calculation directly inside of the vector in R5. Okay, now we pick the next row. We have to take the cross product of these vectors in R3. We will do the calculation of the cross product directly in the vector in R5. The result looks like this. The entries corresponding to row 3 and 4 are set to 0 again. Now we have to take a look at these values here. We have to multiply each of these vectors with a number such that these values become minus 1. In our case we have to multiply each vector with minus 1. The result looks like that. Now these values here have become minus 1. Now the vectors which you can see over the dashed lines are the solutions of the systems. This here is the solution of the first system. This here is the solution of the second system 
and this here is the solution of the third system. Okay, you should now be able to solve easy linear systems of this type by using the cross product in R3. If you are looking for a more general approach, which also works for other linear systems, visit my Patreon page and support this channel. You will get my vector product guide as a present. And as always, if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would help and motivate me to keep creating videos.